Hey, this is some guy named Chris, and today I want to go over the new Power BI cards and just show you a little preview of how to use them, the capabilities of what they bring, and where they are going in the future based on Microsoft's documentation. I'm going to share out my screen, and we can take a look just at a simple report that I have on my page that has four cards on top and quite a few cards on the side. It looks like 12. There are some limitations that I've run into, but other things that let just work really well. For instance, we've got a part over here called Total Ops. What I'm going to do is normally we see the card here. There's a new card, the lightning bolt, and a one, two, three. We're just going to click on that. And we'll come down here to let's make sure I have the right field. Yep, Total Ops. So open count. And what this is doing now is a new card. But the best part about this new card is we can add multiple fields into this card. Uh, and everything is very customizable. One of the things you do when we've been told from the beginning is the more visuals you have on a page, slower it takes to load. So if we have one visual and we can do a lot of things, that's going to be better for us. So if I add, let's say, new clients to here, now you're going to see I've got multiple cards in here. Nice about this is each card is still, each aspect inside is slightly individualized, but all based on the same information. Uh, or it's still customizable, but you can still click through and go to uh, a drill through and stuff like that. A couple of things I like to do as soon as I get this, we would change some of the labels. So this would be new clients. Same functionality. We'd also potentially clean things up. Uh, for instance, I don't really like the white background, so let's fill it in a little bit of a gray. I'm seeing like I see the gray and blue everywhere. Um, but the the main background let's make it a little bit more uh, dark so it stands out we can do titles for the main aspect we can even do subtitles so if you have additional information etc um, divider we can put a divider between them. Again, this is the, I say the higher level formatting. If we wanted to get into the visuals themselves, that's where you would do the shape. You can do like a rounded things. We can snip off the bottoms. All these little things are allowing us to really uh, edit the format make it look as good as we want. Um, you can even see here we can do just the top. We can make them rounded. Uh, we can do layouts, and I'm going to go call it in a second. We can actually do it vertically if we need to look at it in a certain way. Whatever works for your organization and for your visual, but this new card gives us all the flexibilities of the old one, just I say a greater flexibility. One of the things I really like is show blank as. I know my a lot of my reports I've done in the past, I've had to put an if statement to say if it's blank, then put it as a zero right here. Now, if I were to take this out, Let's copy this one, turn it to a new visual. Got dash dash there. This is what we were just talking about. We can now easily put it as a zero. That right there is well worth <laughs> some of these things instead of seeing blanks all over the place. But again, I would like to see what people think about these new cards. 
one of the issues that I just recently ran into is, as you notice, when I changed this equation, or sorry, the formula, all of these changed. All 12 of these cards use the same field. So as I was doing the work, and actually let's go with this one, because it actually has some data. You're seeing I have a filter of this year. If I change it to a new card and I want to add power platform here, I could add it a second time. But it's going to have the same number and I can't figure out a way of doing the filter only on a single one, which really makes sense since it's on the visual itself and not down. So this is a a little area that I'd like to see improve if we can do that. But worst comes worse, I try create 12 measures, but I really don't want to create 12 measures. Um, so a <laughs> little bit of a, a conundrum there. But there is the page, like I said, came out on June 13th. There uh, is a roadmap. So there's three more stages. Oh, sorry, two more stages because this is the current release. But like to see what people think. Do they like to use the new cards? Have you gone back to your reports? Um, I just did recently with one of my clients, uh, and actually a newer client. I was had something very similar, uh, broken out in different groups, but I had a five tiles that meant different things. But I had a month, a year, and a quarter, and instead of having fifteen tiles. I now had three, three cards, just multiple fields in there, made it look sharp. They were consistent. Has anybody ever had trouble lining these up? I have. So little things like that, that we can potentially improve over time. Uh, let me know what you think down below. But this has been some guy named, some guy named Chris. Hopefully you like the new cards and you use them. Thank you.